Hello students, welcome to chemistry portal. In today's video, we will solve an important PYQ from J. Advance on chemical kinetics. So first of all, read the question here. Consider the following reaction. 2H2 gas plus 2NO gas forms N2 gas plus 2H2O gas. This is our reaction given here, which follow the mechanism given below. For this reaction, they have given here three step mechanism and the first step is 2NO gas forms N2O2 gas and this step is fast equilibrium. Now see the second step. N2O2 gas plus H2 gas forms N2O gas plus H2O gas and this reaction, this step is slow, re slow step slow reaction. And now the third reaction is N2O gas plus H2 gas forms N2 gas plus H2O gas. And now this step is fast reaction. And now they are asking order of reaction. So first of all, we know that we always write the rate law from the slowest step of the reaction. Very, very important means rate law, rate law, we always write a slowest step of the reaction is the rate determining a step, determining a step. We know this, right? So, so now you tell me, from these three steps, which is the slower step? This step is the slower step, right? N2O2 gas plus H2 gas forms a N2O gas plus H2O gas. So, now just write the reaction here. I will write the reaction here. N2O2 gas plus H2 gas forms a N2O gas plus H2O gas. And now for this reaction, we have rate constant is K2. So just write here K2. K2 here. K2. Okay. <clears throat> and this is our slow reaction. Right? Slow reaction. Now, we can write the rate law R equal to K into reactant here reactant is N2O2 and we have one more reactant that is a H2 here. Okay, but there is one thing. See, this is not so much simple. Okay, if you write the answer 1 plus 1 equal to 2, this is wrong. Okay, this is not the order of reaction. This is not our final answer. Understood? Why? Because, see here. Because, because this N2O2, this N2O2 act as an intermediate here. Understood? And because we know that in the RDS, in the rate law, intermediate should not be appear. Okay? So we have to manipulate this, this intermediate. And they have given here reaction, this reaction, fast equilibrium step. 2NO forms N2O2. So we can write the Kc of this reaction. Okay. We can write the Kc of the reaction. So we can write here Kc equal to Kc equal to first of all write the reaction. This one. 2NO forms N2O2. Right. 2NO forms N2O2. 2NO forms N2 O2. And now this reaction uh, forward rate constant is K1 and the backward rate constant is K inverse. So just write here K1 and here K inverse. Okay. <clears throat> now write the Kc for this reaction, right? So Kc equal to we know that Kf by Kb. K forward by K backward. So K1 by K inverse. 
equal to equal to product by reactant concentration to the power of a stoichiometry coefficient. So we can find from here N2O2. We can get the N2O2. We can get the value of uh, value of N2O2 here. N2O2. So we can write here N2O2 into K inverse minus one equal to K1 into NO square. And from here we can find the N2O2 value equal to K1 into A no square by K minus 1. Now we can, now, now see here. Now we can put this value here. Understood? Because this, in this rate law, N2O2 is intermediate. See here, this same reactant is appearing here also in the first step, right? So that's why N2O2 is intermediate. And we know that in the rate law, we should not write the intermediate. We have to, we have to apply here equilibrium approximation. This process is called equilibrium approximation. Equilibrium, equilibrium approximation. Approximation. Okay. Now this value, now this value, you have to put here, here, right? So now just put the value here. So R equal to K into N2 O2 we have, right? This is our slowest step. Now put this value here. We can write here R equal to K into, this is a K1, right? Uh, for this reaction it is K2. This is a K2, okay? So here also K2. Okay, huh. so now we can write the value of N2O2 here. So R equal to K2 into K1 NO square by K minus 1 in this subscript into H2, right? H2, okay. We can write this thing with a bracket here because the bracket symbol is used for showing the concentration. Okay. Now, now you can rearrange, take all the constant in one side. I mean, uh, all together R equal to K2 into K1 <coughs> by K minus 1. This is your whole constant here. And now we have a no a square into H2, right? Now see, this all, this all whole constant is our new constant, okay? Y you can write this as a K dash, understood? And now you can write here, R equal to, R equal to K dash into A no square into H2, okay? Understood? See here, this all constant, this all constant becomes a new constant. That is a K dash, suppose. So this K dash into A no square into H2. Now see the, this is our final rate law of this reaction. Okay? This is our final rate law for this reaction. Understood? This is our final rate law. Now see the order. How we can find the order? See the power here. Here power is 1. Here power is 2. Now order is what? Order equal to power of NO means 2 and power of H2 that is 1. So final order of the reaction is 3. And this is your answer. Okay? This is a very very good question. And, uh, <clears throat> and here the concept uh, used is what? Equilibrium approximation. If you give the answer here, 1 plus 1, that is a 2, this is your, this is your blunder mistake, okay? You should not do like this because here this, this reactant N2O2 is 
appearing as an intermediate. Understood? That's why we have to apply the equilibrium approximation here because they have given the three-step reaction and <coughs> and this intermediate, this N2O2 is acting as an intermediate in the first step. That's why we applied here equilibrium approximation method. I hope you all understood and thank you and please like, share and subscribe our channel Chemistry Portal. Thank you everyone.